Kioxia, the new brand name for Toshiba's memory division, have released two new NVMe SSDs this year. The Xeria Plus is their high-performance SSD for the enthusiast market, but in this video I'll be taking a closer look at their much cheaper mainstream NVMe SSD, the Xeria. The drive is available in sizes of 250GB, 500GB and 1TB. The version I'm reviewing in this video is the 500GB version. This is an NVMe 1.3C drive and an M2 2280 form factor, running over four lanes of PCI Express Gen 3. Kioxia quote maximum sequential read speeds of 1700 megabytes per second, write speeds of up to 1600 megabytes per second, and 4K random performance of up to 350,000 IOPS for read and 400,000 IOPS for write. The warranty is five years or 200 terabytes written, whichever comes first. Inside the box, in addition to the SSD itself, there's a small leaflet showing you how to remove it from the packaging, and a quick start guide in several languages. The drive is a plain green PCB, with a small sticker, under which are four 3D TLC NAND chips. Above that is Toshiba's quad-channel controller, and a DDR4 SD RAM chip for buffering. Testing the drive under macOS 10.15.7 Catalina, in Blackmagic Disk Speed Test, the drive managed a little over 1400 megabytes per second for the write speed and about 1500 megabytes per second for read. Meanwhile, in AJ System Test, the drive scored better with 1539 megabytes per second for write and 1617 megabytes per second for read. Finally, in ATTO Disk Benchmark at a 512 megabytes file size, the sequential read speed peaked at around 3100 megabytes per second and the peak write speed was around 1600. For a real world test I tried copying an 8 gigabyte folder containing over 1000 files from a RAM disk to the SSD. Writing the file to the SSD took 7.24 seconds while reading the file back from the SSD into RAM took 7.39 seconds. Compared to the Samsung 970 EVO I had in the computer previously, the write performance is almost the same, but the read speed is about 30% higher on the Samsung, which is to be expected as the Samsung costs around 30% more. So from the speed test results we can see that the drive scores broadly in line with the manufacturer's specifications, and significantly better in ATTO largely due to the fast cache. At the time of purchase, this 500GB drive cost me €69.50, making this one of the best price to performance ratio SSDs currently available. It's faster than other drives at the same price point like Western Digital's SN500 that I reviewed last year, but if you're willing to pay an extra 10-15% to you could step up to a drive like the WD SN550 or the PNY CS3030, both of which would perform much better. As an upgrade to a SATA SSD though, or for a low budget new build, the Kioxia Xeria is a very good choice as an entry level NVMe SSD. That's it for this video, thanks for watching.